too short. <laughs> too short beat right there. You name that tune, baby. <laughs> what is that telling you? You don't want me to talk to you like that? Or you want to make love? y'all experts I wonder if you ever wonder how you figure how where that was at it's right here in the E you hit the A right here and then you hit the uh, F sharp and then to G, right? Can you feel it? Then you just do F sharp, G, and then E. And then you go back to A. school ain't it <laughs> yeah back with nwa first started that's what two short got his lit from with his way his teeth was messed up but he eventually got it together you know what i'm saying Check it out. You could either just go. But it sounded a little better to me. A little more manufactured. We could put your spin on it and sound good like you know what you're doing, you heard?
That's how you thump this thing. You understand that? That's how you, like, that's how you get, get it thumping. bass players that have been playing for a while and you still you really just couldn't figure it out <clears throat> there it is for you right there e right here right here d's right here open e This took you back to your real party days, right? <laughs> y'all made y'all chewing on this <laughs> Some of y'all was born on this. <laughs> Get 
this is that's one of the uh, the uh, thunder thumb uh, bass line. Boy, it's cold blooded. You hear me? Like my little cousin CB Neil. All right, goddammit. It's time to wake your fingers up. You know that motherfucker's wake. What the fuck is they trying to say? Huh? Damn it, wake them up. <laughs> 
All right, God damn it. We come up. Steal his his CB. I ain't gonna steal his handle, but you know, <laughs> when it fits, I'm gonna let him talk. I'm gonna share him. On my on my page, I'm gonna drop in to show you what he's doing, so he can. Damn it, wake it up. I want some. <laughs> Tell your fingers to wake up. You want some smoke on these strings. You understand? I want sorrow. <laughs> All right, God damn it. Truckers be dumb time, nigga. They got to take a break. Stars and 
whomever go on tour, they got to the, they got to bring it. They might be tired like a dog. And where I can relate to them the most is when I used to work for the racetrack. <clears throat> Coming up, y'all mind, I was about between, what was it, 18, 19, 20, something like that. Working out at Exarvin Racetrack. And I would uh, hot walk these horses. First time in the stables, first time with some, around some horses. Around about the time my pops got them anyway. After that, he went and got him a couple of horses because he came out there and checked the scene out and everything. Back then, the sheds rose. Dig. This is back in the 80s, right? Anywho, man. Boy, I was bicycling from my house, man. A couple of miles, man. <laughs> Up on Grover, man. You hit Grover, man. And you go when you as soon as you see you be so glad to see McDonald's, you know. And seeing that fence, you're gonna go down that stretch on this side of the street and McDonald's on that side of the street for growth. Which would be on the south side of the street. You heading from east to west on Grover. And I'm coming from uh uh fortieth from fortieth and Grover, all the way up to 72nd and Grover. Yeah, man. I'm bicycling, man. Bicycle, bicycle. I'm tearing it up. You got to be there at 6 o'clock on in the shed row. He putting blank, he putting, putting the uh, bridle on the horse's mouth and putting the, the saddle on the horse to take him out on the track and you don't have how many shit I mean, on this shed row you might have all of them full <laughs> you dig and they right next to each other you dig anyhow you got to go in there and scoop up all that straw the good straw throw up in the all four corners bad straw it smell like gasoline you think i'm playing leave it out in in, in the sun <laughs> it's gonna catch on fire trust me Throw it up in this great big old, big old bucket, like barrel thing, right? Half a barrel, but it's round and everything. Got these two ropes on the end of it. It's big, big, big. You can carry it. Just put this shit in, in the dung and, and, and that waste. And throw it on over in the dumpster real quick. <clears throat> All right. Then you go and get a, about two more, maybe three, maybe four. Big bales of straw. Throw it on in there, man. Throw it on in there. Because you got a whole nother one right next door. You finna come get him, too. Or her. And whichever one down the line. They young, you know what I'm saying? They about three. So, I mean, you know what I mean? Here we go. They about three, four years all the same time. Because you, they got a whole year to two years before you can even ride them unless you, you want to mess them up. And believe that you can. You fuck them up. You hear me? They won't be no good. Anyway, can't just give them no old prairie hay. They need alfalfa, okay? Alfalfa. They can't eat any old funky corn. They need sweet tina. You understand that? Crack corn. These are thoroughbreds. They got to have it. And nice, clean water. Brand fresh and new water. Them, dog, them horses can smell you coming around that corner. They be waiting. They, they have, All of them be sitting out there with their head looking, up, looking down and waiting on you coming right on around that corner. Yeah. They, they smell you from way around and smell you. You can hear they get excited. Like, yeah. <laughs> Blowing the dust out their nose and everything. And all that. Man, go in there and clean up all them stalls. Well, man, after a while, it started working on me. I got that, man. Let me tell you, one day, man, I was dead, man, walking. This little sawed off, he was a retired uh, jockey. He sat me on, he turned one of them buckets upside down, and he sat down. Sit down, he's like a, like a fighter, man. I'm sitting there, man. 
I'm sitting there, man, and he, man, I'm just walking this horse. And then you walk the horse around the shed road for about 15 minutes when you come off the track. That's why you got to hurry up and clean up all them stalls. They pull them out <laughs> because you got to go and wash them down. And then you give them a 15-minute walk around there, and then you take the blanket off and put him on in there. As he, as he going in his, in his stall, you pull the blanket off, man, you know. I was to go in there and roll all over in there. All you hear is his, his hooves hitting those walls and everything. Be happy as hell. Go get some water, eat him some grains. Man, at Sweet Teen, I have everything in the truck. And then, uh, man, it even have sunflowers in it. Already shelled. You dig what I'm saying? They the finest. Okay. Man. Got the high walking the man out the wild little horse. Hey man, he you man, he's walking me. He bite me on my arm and then look back at me and I look up at him. To see is I'm alive, like, oh okay, come on. I walk him on around, man. I was a dead man walk. That's the way they be feeling sometimes they need something. So the jockey sat down and he was explaining to me, man, you know, hey, man, you need to come to the luau, man. Come to the luau. <laughs> nah, I'm going to show you what time it is. I know you're tired. He said, you know, like a fighter. He had me sit down. I said, I said, I said, I got you, I got you. And he doing all that good stuff. He said, I got you, I got you. He stood here washing it off. And he told me who he was. I'm like, yeah. And I thought about it, man. I was. I, at the time, I was seeing a woman by the uh, one of them Poindexter women, right? And I, and I thought, yeah, that'd be nice to bring it to the to the luau, you know. All right, we do smoke weed, right? We I introduced to some real shit back then, right? Cause James and Luther and all the rest of them niggas, they gave her some old kitchen cabinet shit, man. You know, she had the papers, you know, taking it down through there. And she's rolling up. I said, that ain't shit, but kitchen cabinet, parsley, where you get this from? And she told me, one of them, I said, oh, hey, you really, you trying to get high or you, what's you doing? So all right, I'll be back. Now, I didn't want to turn. My girl, I know this is is a is a social drug, and I ain't want to go into that part because these heart is is bad enough. I know what these social drugs would do. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's a, just a gate gateway, but it's bad enough with it because your girl will dump you for somebody that keep a motherfucking a goddamn it a garbage bag versus a little sack. You see what I'm talking about? So, I was like, nah, I ain't going to take it. In my mind, I didn't, I didn't take it to the blue I didn't go. Plus, there was something on my mind. I was like, nah, I don't want to do none of that shit. Or none of the other shit. Popping your veins. I, you know, it was out here as a smorgasbord, but it was not. Uh, drink, smoke that weed. You know what I'm saying? If you find a whole nother way to just go cane. I might experiment it my way, but I wouldn't take it to somebody because after a while, all this shit becomes addictive until you got to have it, right? Especially when it comes to your girl, you don't want to turn her into an addict because then everybody will be there all the time and they have it available. This person not going to just wait. Then here we go with the rest of whatever that it is, right? No. So I cared about it that much, even though she might hate my guts, but shit, I don't want to turn my girl into no goddamn straight addict. You know, the other people's intentions are different. It ain't what you think it is all the time. And that was way back in 1986, 80, yeah, 86, wasn't 87, yeah, 1985, 86, yeah. Yeah. So anyway, that's what them entertainers be going through, man. They might not feel it. It's not that they don't want to do it. When your body, when your body rejects something or don't want it, it, it don't want it. Tell you, 
You know what I mean? That's a that's a trip. That's like I learned about being content when I had a whole nother female some years ago. Now, you know when you in a relationship, y'all do what you want to do in your garden of Eden. Right? Bucket naked. You don't wear no clothes. No clothes. You don't wear no clothes. <laughs> you know, man, you're worse than animals. Boy. Bear five minutes, boy. <laughs> and it's mutual. You want you want you wanna. You do what you wanna. As much as you wanna. When you wanna. In the kitchen. In the front room. In the bedroom. Shit, man. He would call. Just pull the car over to a spot, man, and get the edge. Like, fuck, I can't. I want something. That's the one. We just go on the burger king, McDonald's, or somewhere. Chili's and stop at the window and get some. <laughs> I'm just saying. But, uh, yeah, man. Now, you just put in word. You know this person had enough as well. Should at this point. And everybody should. They, everybody's content. That person come along there and don't do no more than ease up on you. And you be ready to throw a total elbow. And you be like, oh, if you love that person, you be like, God, now. You know, you just, you playing it off, but it, it's streak. You're just like that. Like, get off. Like, you want to say that if you're the man, you put on brakes real hard. And you just hug them up. But your body, you, everything, it'll just tell you that. Like, <laughs> you throw an elbow up quick. Now, maybe that's what some of y'all experienced on the other side. When you go to touch that person, that person throw up their elbow or something like that real quick it, it's not always just not them it's their body it's the, when you're content you didn't had enough you did you know you it's enough you know enough is enough your body is damn sure tell you without a doubt and that's said wow that's when i really understood even with this clinging cling on stuff just hugging just on somebody all the time up in their face about a pimple I'm gonna kiss them all the time, you know. It's like, you know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> now I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna side with <clears throat> them red bones, light skinned people, <laughs> dark skinned people. When you when you get with them, they want to. They always need that in reassurance that you really love them. They're always in your face, always on you. Be like. A, a, a Gina and, 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 and BDB on the Martin. You're breathing all off. Back off me. You know what I'm saying? Throw that elbow up. Like, <laughs> bam. <laughs> like Marty do. You know what I'm talking about. But yeah, real talk, man. Yeah, light skinned people, they have the biggest problem with that. They skin maybe they had like hey, you know they even gave you nothing, you know what I mean? But they really just be on your ass. Like, God damn, you breathing on me. Now some people they don't want to admit it, but I've witnessed it myself wasn't me. <laughs> but I witnessed it and I'm like, yeah, mm -hmm. it won't be long, you know. Boy can't go out with his boys. Boy can't go hang out somewhere. Some girl comes standing up talking. You over there around the corner peeking to look to see what he doing. You think he cheating or something. But damn, you pushed him away because you was just on him too fucking much. Now, isn't that true? Come on, red bones and light-skinned people. Now, I'm standing up. You know, they ain't, <laughs> ain't no black scab. They got to be stabbed for no fucking red ball. <laughs> oh, that motherfucking old vein. Uh, 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 what, 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 uh, you, 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 you conceded anyway. You know, you did, you conceded anyway. <laughs> the majority of y'all. Because y'all like the attention 
that Morris and Prince was getting. So as soon as you was light skinned, you just thought, <laughs> I got it like that. And every go goofy ass, black ass girl, any ugly nigga looked like a straight frog. Teeth hanging out, freckles all over the face or something. But just because he was light skinned. And his hair was just nappy as yours. He didn't even squirt, squirt no guy. I'm just saying, man. <laughs> yeah. And then you had to look out for something like him. People, you just straight. Like, neck up, bitch. Please. You, your dookie stink just like everybody else. The fuck? You just human. He trying to make you look like you suck that ass to be on now. Yeah, especially me, shit, bitch. I'm two-ton, bitch. I don't wait to get paid. You understand me? I'm steaking potatoes every day. You dig? What the fuck you talking about? I'm that nigga out here, bitch. Everybody know me. I'm two-ton, god damn it. <laughs> damn it. I'm two-ton, bitch. Everybody knows me, shit. Number 70, motherfucking seven, bitch. I'm a... It's my worst nightmare on the football field. Fuck you talking about? <laughs> Kissing your ass, man. I'm a king. Whenever you get done. Wipe me down. Clean that up, right? Clean that mess. Get your head down there and clean that up. Or uh, if you rebellious, get out of the way. Then that's all right. That's all right. Move because you might zip my dick up. I go got somebody else to help me out. Since you can't, you will never see none of this good. No more. And it's good. You understand me? Or should I say it's good enough to get the job done? For real. <laughs> yeah. It tastes, it tastes, I've been told it tastes like carnation milk. Right up out of there. Come out. It's a thumb out. <laughs> I was told. So you you know I'm old love. You. <laughs> when I was a young man, I'm the top two time. When I was a young strapping man, teenager going into adulthood, I'm a bitch, I'm two ton, bitch, I'm two ton, bitch. I'm a young nigga out here driving my new car. <laughs> 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 Shit. I'll ride motherfucking car to, driving a car to school in my sophomore year. What the fuck you talking about? Bitch, I'm too tongue, bitch. <laughs> bitch, I'm too tongue. Fuck you talking about. <laughs> Shit. Leave the school with all the seniors, the bad little senior bitches in the car, man. I'm nigga rolling with seniors they about to graduate up out their bed <laughs> they on their way to college then chose either corn husk or somewhere iowa yiddy they want to be a, a buckeye whatever man a corn husk or a buckeye trust me when i tell you this shit, man fuck you talking about my sophomore year i got bragging rights nigga <laughs> wow let me tell you right now Real down home nigga. Time out. Come from get out to wrap up. Yeah. The fuck you talking about? I'm all the way. Look, look. Gangster nigga. Who's scared to be real? Who's scared to grow up? Not me. Shit. Who the fuck said he was having an abortion? Psych. <laughs> I'm gonna have to find that and put that on my and, and share that on my page. Who the fuck said they was having an abortion? Sight. You that baby daddy? I want all your money. You want child support? Nigga, you fucked up. You know you fucked up. Fourth of July, motherfuckers try to, you know, make me feel fucked up. You know, that's all right. You just got to find a better crowd, man. That's all. Fuck. 
like you motherfuckers that try to hurt me, my nigga. Try to play me, nigga. Fuck all you motherfuckers. You know, just have to surround myself with some better motherfucking people. Fuck time it is, you know what I mean? Like back in the day, you used to have me plenty motherfuckers when they see I'm involved. They check your ass at the door all around. You dig what I'm saying? You not getting in here to clown up shit. And it goes down, you know them. Get known, they don't even fuck around. I don't fucking give a damn who it is, what you is. I'm so and so, so and so. They be and start kicking your ass. Yeah, you in the wrong spot. It didn't matter. You don't get a chance. You don't get a chance. You did nobody. You need to complete the mission. Get on to that next step. You did. Get on in the motherfucker. Let's roll. You know. Tupac say check your strength. Yeah, man. I had to hit y'all with a little bass right quick. That was too short with Can You Feel It? Say yo. You like the... Oh, you want me to talk to you like that? We want me to love... Mm -hmm. See, when you come to this channel, you did. It belong. You did. When you come to this channel, it's all the way live. It's all the way live. It's all the way like. Mm, 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 mm. Yes, sir. Mm. Yes, sir. Ah. Moving into the evening, do something a little bit different, because you know. Ty is the man cave. I got to sharpen up and bring you something that can elevate your base too. Your base too, baby. This is where it's at. You dig? Got to lay that track. Lay in there. Stay in there, you know. You got to be like, uh, uh, what's, what's your main man's name? Uh, 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 what's my boy? Uh, uh, Cannon, Nick Cannon. When he was showing him, he said, yeah, it ain't all that like you think. You know, you just got to be able to rock with the you know the motion in the ocean and he's and all that well you got to do the same thing when it comes to the base you got to lay it in there and keep laying it in there you did <clears throat> look at that it's already ready
laying in there giving it to her. Hey, I, I don't come too fast. See what I'm talking about? Watch this. Now you might be able to recognize this. <sighs> Five months early. Well, yeah. sound close to it then. Just for you, we're going to slow down and we're trying to do this by ear, right? Because you'll find it.
find it. Keep looking for it. But this how you do it now. You, you, you'll be swinging right along with it. end up back <clears throat> like whatever is it down here up here right you can get it back up there but anyway gotta get you that's the 12 days of christmas right sounds the same if we use the open E, right? So you say, uh, F sharp, G, A, B, N, A, P, N, G, right? Back to D, low D on your, on your, uh, sounds pretty close right the same because here's when you to itself that's e right there on the b that's what it should be and then you go here to the fifth a right then Try to make it foolish. Oh, 
book and find it and play it if you know what you're looking at. you get them you can manipulate any way you want as long as you stay within shit up I'm telling you you go and you peep him out that's the best work all that work he did in his early years that was him on that base you know and it's kind of hard to try to change himself to what he want to do from where he had what he was doing when that was him for real, you know how it go. If you don't, just go to him and most of the other. Uh, I'm gonna give a a shout to Morris Man, Morris, Morris Man. Guitar lessons, everything else. He can explain to you more defined about being a creator and you know, all the copyrights and all this other stuff. You know, all of them can tell you the basics of it. Why they try to be so different, even if that was them on their shit, and they they still can't be them. You see what I'm talking about? But there y'all go. I'm gonna cut you loose, man. I shall return with some old my bass guitar, chewing on the bass, man, doing something. You heard me? You come on here, man. I'm gonna show you a little something. I'm gonna show you what I know, and, 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 and listen. I ain't mad if you take that 
and 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 run with it because see <clears throat> you know how long if you go on my videos I got I am Mo Love music it was Mo Love's music Mo Love's music it's a passion right I do love music right then I thought Mo Love's music like everything you hear and seeing my music right then it got to that's okay i'm gonna just put more love right here and then schmoozy on the rest of it you put it together you'll figure out because you want to know what is this schmoozy music shit is it you a cardi b lover or something <laughs> I don't know. I put it together and the shit worked different because you, you, you got to find me. You don't put it right. You're going to get all these other people trying to run that same shit. And I didn't get it from them. I've made my own shit. I got my shit before it was any goddamn YouTube or Facebook. Or, and it was barely, barely with computer bullshit. I'm just going to tell you right now. I got this... Uh, from my uh, unit you know when I got hazed in when I first got to my unit in Germany and so then they gave me you know Mo Love <laughs> you told you all kind of ways and you got yet Mo Love cause yeah <laughs> I signed on the dotted line to kill a motherfucker dead right now get off in the woods or weeds or a swamp or out there fucking around with Saddam Hussein or whomever the fuck they sent us there we come home period point blank ain't gonna talk about it ain't gonna don't you know second guessing it we coming home part worry about it whether you black white Indian Mexican I don't give a fuck you on that team you got that US stamp on it you just as black as me I'm just as white as you. But who in that? Yeah. In other words, we're coming back home. We're going to have some apple pie. We're going to have some ice cream, baseball, and most of all, every red blooded American, especially. <laughs> hey, we're getting back and build us a goddamn hot rod. <laughs> a rat rod, whatever the fuck. I speak your language. We all talking the same shit. Know what I mean? The whole key is to get back home. Period. But, uh, yeah. I'm gonna get over here, man. Uh, and get back in this book here, man. And bring y'all yet another another one. <laughs> to think about you it is so you're in the man cave with me here on the delta belt kicking the bass live smooth in some time the bass kick me mama yeah, man <laughs> but we work together you dig what i talk about my blues my way and i shall return